Hi, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on the subject of sinus arrhythmia and this video is entitled Sinus Arrhythmia and the Drummer Par Excellence. A lot of people have written to me and said, look, you know, can you please do a video on sinus arrhythmia? So I thought I'd do this. So here goes. The first thing to understand is that sinus rhythm means that the electrical impulses which regulate our heart rhythm are generated in the sinus node okay now what is the sinus node the sinus node is a little node sitting up here in the heart and that is our god-given pacemaker everyone who's born has this god-given pacemaker called the sinus node and when the rhythm is generated there and causes the heart to contract then that is called sinus rhythm a nice analogy to try and understand the sinus node is to think of a drummer sitting in our heart, okay? And so the drummer sits there and he beats the drum at regular intervals. The drummer is very receptive to what the body is telling it. So if the body says, look, you know, I'm in a flight or fright situation, I need to be prepared to run, then the drummer will start beating faster. This is called sinus tachycardia. When the body tells or the brain and the body tells the drummer, look, you need to settle down, we're relaxing, we're resting, then this drummer starts, uh, slows down his beating of the drum. A healthy drummer, a healthy sinoatrial node, a healthy pacemaker is very receptive and will therefore, the heart rate will go up very quickly when the need arises, the heart rate will fall very quickly when the body is beginning to relax. This going up and down this variability is called heart rate variability and having a good heart rate variability is a sign of good health it tells us that we have a very responsive pacemaker which is a good thing every you know young people have a very responsive pacemaker in general as we get older or if we have developed disease then our heart rate variability gets less so the heart takes longer to recover the heart rate takes longer to go up usually this drummer or the sinus node beats very regularly if you take the beats you know he'll be beating time period is very regular and usually it doesn't vary by more than 120 milliseconds the difference between successive beats is no more than 120 milliseconds so it's that regular sometimes what can happen is in very very receptive patients you can get even more of a variability whereby the rhythm the successive beats may vary by more than 120 milliseconds so when you look at the ECG the ECG doesn't look absolutely regular it looks a little bit irregular because of this variation everything about the ECG itself looks normal but just when you look at it it looks a little bit more irregular because of this variation between successive beats where some beats are a little bit um, wider and other beats are a little bit narrower. And this is called sinus arrhythmia when you see that variation. Sinus arrhythmia happens because of breathing in the majority of cases. When we breathe in, our vagus nerve is inhibited, which means our heart rate goes up. And when we breathe out, the opposite happens and our heart rate slows down. In young people, because our pacemakers are so receptive, this translates into this slight variation in the intervals between each heartbeat. Sometimes it isn't necessarily related to breathing, but if it is related to breathing, what you'll find is that that slight variation disappears when you do the ECG on breath holding. So if you get the patient to hold their breath, they're not breathing in, you'll find that that variation goes away. So the sinus arrhythmia goes away. Sometimes it doesn't. That doesn't mean that it's in any way worse. It's just another subset of people that we observe. In my 30 years, I have never come across any case where I've thought that sinus arrhythmia has pointed to anything sinister going on. It is a completely benign condition. In fact, it is a sign of really good health. Sinus arrhythmia is simply an ECG pattern. It causes no symptoms. It will not have any bearing on a person's quality of life. It will have no bearing on a person's length of life. It's a sign of good heart health and a healthy God-given pacemaker, and it requires no treatment whatsoever. I hope this reassures you if you've been found to have sinus arrhythmia. It is really actually a good sign rather than a bad sign and nothing to be worried about at all. I hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear your comments. And once again, thank you so much for all you did for me. All the best.